I've learned this amazing tea recipe from my neighbor and friend Michelle, who always has a jug of this in the hot summer months. Called boricha in Korean, it means barley tea, and it can be drunk hot or cold depending on the season. For this, you need two tablespoons of barley, which we are going to slow roast over five to ten minutes for the aromas to really develop, and then we'll add around eight cups of water and bring it to a boil. So I'm going to start roasting the barley. In a pan, you have to roast the barley for around 10 to 12 minutes. I have been roasting this for the last 8 minutes or so and it's turned nicely golden brown and I can smell the subtle aroma of barley. At this point, I'm going to add in all the water and bring it to a boil. Now I'm waiting for the water to come to a boil so that the colour and flavour of the roasted barley permeates into the tea. As you can see, the water is on a rolling boil and I can really get the aromas of the roasted barley which is so nutty and earthy. And you can actually reuse this barley a second time to make a second batch of boricha but only thing it will take a little longer for the flavours to steep in. So our boricha is ready. I'm just going to decant the top portion of it in a pitcher. You can drink this hot or cold depending upon the weather and let me tell you this is one of the best calorie free caffeine free drinks there are so you can actually give this to kids of any ages and you may even remember your grandmom telling you to drink a lot of barley water in the hot summers to stay cool and this is the Korean way of doing it. I hope you like this recipe, do try it and let me know how it turned out in the comments below.